Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome back to another cook video. Well, not a cook video. Welcome back to another video in Flight Sim World. And yes, this is that third-party Cessna again. Uh, you may have noticed it in my previous video. It shouldn't be here. Technically, I believe this is a breach of the EULA, since I just copied this over from uh, air quotes another flight simulator into this one. I'm not going to tell you where it came from. Um, but, you know, it's it's fully functional. Uh, yep, my pedals are acting properly. Good. <laughs> um, really, what I wanted to do was, A, see if it would copy over, see about the, the legacy support, and also compare the textures, because I know uh, Dovetail stated quite clearly that they have made a lot of changes to the way the rendering system in the game works. Um, a lot of emphasis has been placed over into the, uh, the hardware side of things. And uh, that's, that's pretty evident, actually, in, uh, in what's going on. Um, if you look at the texturing in these versus the newer aircraft. And I'll, I'll load the fans at the end of this just so we can have a quick shifty of that one. Um, the textures are actually pretty different, um, especially when you get inside the cockpit. This cockpit looks, in comparison to the new ones, very flat, very dull, uh, especially in certain light conditions. Uh, and that's because of um, uh, an extra hardware pass that occurs uh, that does, uh, what is it, is it ambient occlusion? I can't remember what it is. There's a, an extra hardware pass that now occurs in the render engine. Um, and it takes into account uh, certain lighting conditions and dynamic lighting conditions. And with the old, with, sorry, with, with the uh, aircraft and the textures from other flight simulators, ha, ah, gonna have to remember to use that you're going to get a flat, washed out texture. Uh, hopefully we'll see that in a moment. Um, I don't know whether, what, what the weather's like actually. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we're pretty good. Yep, yep. Pedals, all right. We'll give it some flaps. Give it some throttle. Oop. Uh. Oh, hello. A little bit of a crosswind again. To that, whoa, there's a crosswind. And we are up. Hurrah! Now, the, uh, the flight system in this may not actually work properly because of the different settings required, right? Ah, look at that. We are up and away. So let me do a turn here. Let's see if I can get the sun to shine in the cockpit. So that's the first thing I'm noticing, is that I'm not getting the uh, sun and the reflection inside the cockpit. There you go. Look how the, the texture is now washing out as we come into the shadow. And we come around and back out again, and it should liven up. Now that's because of that extra pass that's handed off to the hardware. Uh, it's not, you know, that uh, that extra layer, that extra texture layer is not present in the uh, the aircraft's settings. So, yeah. Well, I haven't tried playing with my 
No, okay. <laughs> My external radio still doesn't work. <clears throat> But the model looks really nice, the external model looks quite nice. Not not as clean and shiny as the default ones that come with the, uh, with the game. Oh, I forgot to adjust my terrain again. Oops. But, um... Something else I did uh, in the config file was uh, turn off the bloom effect. Now, I strongly recommend that you don't play around with your config file. Uh, this is, you know, this is in beta. Um, and uh, any changes you make to your config file could have effects on updates, right? Um, you know, I've, I've uh, made one, <coughs> two changes to my config file. I've turned off Bloom to stop that really bright, washed out effect from happening. And I upped the, um, the graphics level on the textures. <coughs> I need a copy. Um, but when the next update comes out, I will be deleting my config file and forcing the uh, game to make me a new one um, because I don't want any changes that I personally made to influence any changes that they are specifying in the game itself right? Does that make sense? Um, this particular model will be deleted after this video very probably because uh, I don't want this in there either I want this to be exactly as it's supposed to be at this point. Later on, when they add in third-party support, I may look at uh, adding in uh, hardware and stuff like that, but uh, third-party add-ons uh, software, I'm going to try and avoid plugging in because I know it's just going to cause trouble and technically it's a breach of the UI. But I think uh, as a uh, as an SNGs test, this actually didn't go out as badly as I thought it would. I thought actually I'd end up with uh, missing textures or a problem like that, but it actually works well. It doesn't work uh, as intended, and it doesn't look as good as the default aircraft. But uh, you know, it's not bad. Like I said, I recommend that you don't uh, copy aircraft over because they are probably not going to perform as intended. Uh, there are differences in the uh, aircraft config files that you should be aware of, so just copying them over is probably a bad idea. And again, a breach of your EULA, so don't do it. Like I said, I'm going to probably uh, end up deleting this one yeah, by the end of the day, to be honest. <clears throat> but it's doing okay. <clears throat> a bit nose over there. On it. But it looks okay. So again, let's uh, end this flight here. And we'll load up that vans and we'll do a quick uh, comparison of the, uh, the texture in the cockpit. How's that? Sounds like a great plan to me. So... Oh, there's a safe flight. Okay, so if you want to do cold starts, my advice is to make yourself a flight, pull up to the gate that you're interested in, shut your aircraft down, and then just save the flight. And then you can load it from that point onwards. Uh, until they come up with the uh, the cold dark starts, which is in their to-do list. 
And the reason I'm doing this on camera is because... Oh no, I failed! Because uh, I just want to, you know, show you how quickly that this, uh, this seems to load. So, I think, comparison-wise, that's going to be the closest. Uh, that certainly isn't, that doesn't even have a radio, but we'll go with this one. I'm actually digging this one. I've played this one a couple of, played with this one a couple of times, and I actually kind of dig it. So we'll do fair weather, and I'm just going to select Planet City to be able to confirm and start. Now, when I installed this uh, via Steam, I installed it on my um, flight sim hard drive, which I haven't cleaned in a long time. So it's probably fragmented to all kinds of silliness <laughs> and that's it we're in that was nice and quick so let's have a very quick look outside see the sheen on the paintwork there that's the first thing that I noticed those reflections those gorgeous uh, you know Hardware rendered. Uh, are they reflections? Can I use the term reflection? I don't know if they're an accurate reflection or. They do seem to be actually. I'm not digging. I don't. You know what? I'm weird. I don't dig the uh, the pilots in the aircraft. I know uh, if you take away the pilot from the aircraft cockpit, it looks really weird because it looks like the plane's flying itself, but I just find that the fact that there's a, a guy sitting there that's not me is a bit weird, especially if I'm external to the aircraft. Anyway, so again, let's take off and we'll do a circle and we'll see how the sunlight plays on the cockpit. Remember again, I got Bloom turned off, so I'm not getting those washed out textures. Where's my ass? Oh, there's my ass. Okay. Okay. Try not to stall, shall we? <laughs> right, we are up and away. Actually, I don't know anything about the performance of this aircraft. I don't know what the. Uh, the climb rate is supposed to be. So let's do our let's do our bank. We'll turn around and we'll watch the sun play across our cockpit. Look at that. I mean, you can see the difference straight away. The reason it's not looking washed out is because, like I said, the, the rendering is processed differently because there is a different texture in, in play at this point. Let's, uh, let's go up a little bit. I haven't actually been up above two and a half, so... I'm going to climb a little bit here. Hang on, keep an eye on the airspeed as well. Because I actually stalled this thing the other day. Whoops! I wasn't paying attention to my airspeed. <laughs> um, I just wish... I, you know, I know it's early access and this is... What is this? Day 2? <laughs> I have a very hard time being patient. <laughs> I want my external hardware to work. <laughs> but you know what? I understand this is beta. I have to be patient. They're working on it. They're working on a lot of things. So I've got to take the rough with the smooth until uh, release day. And then I can really start complaining. <laughs> Once this is released at full price, and they call it a final client, then I can start complaining about things. But at the moment, eh, uh, you know what? It's it's pointless to complain because it's still in development. Ah, uh, it's 4,000. 
we'll get up into the cloud layer. I had really, really thought about replacing the cloud textures, but again, that comes under the heading of, uh, you know, if I fiddle with this, I might end up causing issues that the devs wouldn't necessarily think of. So if I fiddle with this and then report a bug, it could be because I made specific changes to the game or to the game engine or to the textures or to the config file or you know stuff like that. So I've got to refrain from doing that kind of thing. So there we are. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I've got the graphics turned up, so I'm not getting those um, horrible aberrations in the distance. And actually, the render distance isn't bad. I can see the sea. I don't think I could see that before. I don't know. I probably could, and I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, you know what? Beforehand, I had a layer of fog constantly being drawn so the game was drawing beyond I think it was beyond 60 miles 70 miles it would fade out into a fog so uh, my system wasn't trying to render stuff that, <laughs> that wasn't visible but uh, it looks really nice London down there and again this is this is default scenery. Uh, this is an unfiddled about with system. You know why I haven't... Uh, actually, that's not London. London's over there. I haven't fiddled about with the config file too much. I haven't made any changes to the, my hardware layout specifically for this. Like I said, I'm, I play more than just Flight Simulator, so my, my computer is set up for generic use. But I do keep it somewhat optimized. That's not bad. I really can't complain about that view at the moment. I mean, I probably could nitpick it, but I'm not going to. There's no point. <laughs> Although, that said, isn't it time we had the shard? I mean, you know, it's been a few years. It's time somebody added the shard into London. <laughs> for the weather update. It's going to be awesome! That's it. With this rather interesting view and the, the sunlight reflecting off of the propeller blade there. Whoops, I'm going over speed. I forgot to throttle down. Yay, good job there. Brilliant piloting. I wonder why it was making that noise. Juddery. <laughs> see you anon.